guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a motivational cleaning video. In today's video, we are going to be doing it all. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to the grocery store. I'm gonna be sharing a huge grocery haul. We're gonna be doing tons of cleaning. I'm also gonna be sharing a Grove cleaning order that I placed. I got tons of new cleaning products I'm gonna be using in this video. If you guys are in need of some cleaning motivation, you came to the right place. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I have quite the grocery haul to do for you guys. All of these groceries either came from Aldi or BJ's, and we needed so much stuff. So let me just start over here. Picked up a big bag of some baked potatoes. I use this for so many like crock pot recipes. Really good to like chop up, roast in the oven. I also picked up some heavy whipping cream for my Alfredo I'm making this week. Got some of this creamer for coffee. If you guys have not tried the Starbucks creamer, you have to try it, so good. Picked up these caramel coconut fudge cookies. They taste very similar to the Girl Scout ones. I love these. Picked up a rotisserie chicken. I'm making some enchiladas, and this is like a little cheat way to do it. I picked this up from BJ's. You just chop this up, and I use this as the protein in my enchiladas. So easy, so good. Um, we needed some more avocado, tons of cans, just some black beans, some peas, and some corn. We got some fruit, blueberries for me and the dogs, strawberries, picked up this huge Caesar salad kit from BJ's. We got some tortillas for taco night. Also got some cheeses, got some Parmesan cheese for the Alfredo I'm making this week. Cheddar cheese for the breakfast casserole I'm probably going to make. Some sharp cheddar if we do some like lettuce wrap burgers. I also picked up some of these apples from Aldi. I love getting my apples from Aldi. Some more heavy whipping cream. I always like to have some on hand. Lemonade, which came from BJ's. You get three of them for $6.99. That's such an amazing deal. Picked up this bread from Aldi. Love this bread. It is like the off brand of the Dave's bread. And I love this bread. It tastes very similar to the Dave's bread. Kind of has a different taste, but I love that one. Picked up some croissants from Aldi to have one morning with like eggs and bacon. Picked up some salsa to have like chips and salsa with taco night. We needed some um, more oil. So picked that up from Aldi. We also needed some chicken stock. So picked some of that up. And then also we needed to stock our pantry. If you guys have not seen my pantry organization video, I will link that above. I need to fill up the chip container because we're having some guests come and visit us to make sure we're fully stocked there. And then last but not least, I picked up some good old ketchup from Aldi. I love Aldi's brand of ketchup. I also picked up tons and tons of meat. I picked up like chicken, beef, all of that's in the deep freezer. We got chicken, beef, ground turkey. We really picked up everything, chicken breast, chicken thigh, so we are good to go there. All right, so now that I shared everything I picked up from the grocery store, I'm getting everything put away. I'm putting all the things that belong in the refrigerator put away first, and then we're gonna be moving into the pantry and we're gonna be restocking all of the chips and the canned goods and filling that back up again. Making me wanna be something else than I'm meant to Spending time reminiscing of what it used to be Not letting go when I want to Wishing I'd be on and on mm -hmm. If you guys miss my pantry organization video that I shared a couple of weeks back, I will make sure to tag that above for you guys. It is such a good video to check out. I share how I get my pantry organized. It was getting very low since filming that video, so Ryan said we needed to go to the grocery store and get it restocked before we had family come in town, so that's what I did. I added all of the chips and I restocked our cans and getting it back to new again. And 
case you guys are wondering, I got this adorable little lounge set that I'm wearing with the stars on it. I picked it up from TJ Maxx. I got that one and I also got a super cute tie dye one that is so cute. So if you guys are in need of some new lounge wear, definitely go to TJ Maxx. They have so many cute options. So we are getting the countertops cleared off and then we're gonna be stopping here shortly because a very exciting package came. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my Grove order that I placed and it's tons of exciting new cleaning products. So I'll share with you guys everything I pick up. If you do wanna pick up an order, I will have my Grove linked down below. You do get a free Mrs. Meyer set if you spend $20 and it is so easy to do that because they have essentially everything, bathroom cleaners, kitchen cleaners, multi-surface sprays they have so many good products all right while i was cleaning the doorbell just rang i got the second part of my grove order i told you guys i placed a huge grove order and they shipped me one package a few days ago and i was waiting on the other one so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, uh-oh, something leaked in here. Um, the first thing I got is this Caldrea Rosewater Drip Wood Linen and Room Spray. I've heard amazing things about the Caldrea products. So I was like, I have to see this for myself. I don't know how to open this. Let's see, how do you? Oh my gosh. It smells so good. I love this. So I'm so excited I went with this scent. They had so many different ones you can choose from. And I went with the Rosewater one. I also picked up this Mrs. Meyers Surface Scrub. I love this. Can you guys see? Um, I use this at the bottom of my shower. It's like a all natural version of like Comet, I guess you can say. Love this stuff. You can also use this stuff in your sink as well to clean it. Really good. It's like a powder um, cleaner. I picked up this Method Anti-Back Bathroom Cleaner. Gonna use that today in the spearmint flavor. Ooh, that smells like bubble gum, like a minty bubble gum. I also picked up the Caldrea Rosewater Driftwood Countertop Spray. We're gonna use this today. I am so excited. The Caldrea products, Everyone raves about them and I see why, because it smells really good. But we're gonna see if it actually cleans. Also picked up this Mrs. Meyers Peony Scent in the multi-surface spray. Love the multi-surface sprays. I used to not be able to use these for like a really long time because they would give me a headache because they were so strong, but I think it was because our home was really small and like it didn't have enough ventilation, I don't know. But all I know is it has not bothered me in this house, so I am back using my Mrs. Meyers and the smell no longer gives me a headache or bothers me, so love that. Also picked up the dish soap as well, and the hand soap. And then last but not least to keep in the guest bathroom is this um, room freshener, and just, I'm gonna keep it probably on top of the toilet. You know, the guests need to use it, they can. Before we finish cleaning this disaster of a mess and get on those dishes underneath my sink, I did organize this a little bit better. I got rid of my red bins that was under here and I switched them all over to acrylic. So there's that. I'm going to be putting a lot of my new cleaning products under here and also I'm gonna put some in the master bathroom as well, like the bathroom cleaner and that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna get my cleaning products put away and we are going to get cleaning. Just 
so these new dispensers I picked up from Amazon. It is a dish soap, a lotion, and a hand soap. And I thought it just looked so much better to have on your kitchen counter. I wasn't really liking how it was looking when I just had like my dish soap displayed on the counter. I thought these were definitely a more sleek way to display your hand soap and dish soap. So I'm just transferring the peony scent and the Mrs. Myers. I'm filling it up with the dish soap. I'm filling it up with the hand soap. And then I will eventually have to add some hand lotion in there as well. I want to do like a florally one. So I'm on the hunt for a really good smelling lotion and I will put that in there. I am now unloading the dishwasher. We're getting all of the clean dishes put away and then we're gonna be able to fill it with dirty dishes. One thing I love about this dishwasher that my old dishwasher didn't have in the old house is it lets you know if the cycle is clean or not. So the light will be green if it's clean and it'll say clean. Before at my old house, the dishwasher, we always were trying to figure out like, did we run the cycle or did we not run the cycle? So I really love how this dishwasher has that setting. But after we get all the dishes put away, I'm gonna be putting the dirty dishes in there. I did want to say that I always leave my Amazon storefront down in the description. So those soap dispensers that I just shared with you guys, those will be on my Amazon storefront. And now in case you guys are wondering, we had some old oil. I always save the container that the oil comes in. So that way when I'm done using the oil, I can put it back in the dispenser and toss it out in the dumpster. That makes it so much easier because it's not good to dump the oil down the drain. You will clog it. So I thought I would share that tip if you were ever frying anything, just save the container the oil comes in and that way you can just put it back in there and dispose of it that way. I can't describe it. getting all of the dishes dry that I couldn't put in the dishwasher. We're gonna be lighting a candle to get our home smelling good. And then we're gonna be wiping down all of the counters with my new multi-surface spray by Caldrea. You guys, that is going to be my new multi-surface spray. It is definitely on the pricier side compared to Mrs. Myers, but I think it's worth it to have every now and then because it smells really, really good. And I can tell it's very high quality. I loved how it kind of smelled up the entire space, but it didn't have like a cheap smell to it. It smelled very expensive. It smelled like a perfume. So if you want to treat yourself to a new multi-surface spray, definitely check out the Caldrea because they have some good scents that I want to check out. But the rose water one is my favorite as of now, but I still want to try the other ones as well. Come back and see me from all my 
Finishing up wiping down all the countertops. I wanted to share that new little marble thing that I have my salt and pepper and oil dispenser on. Picked that up from TJ Maxx. Love that. If you guys are looking for one, they had tons there. But I'm just wiping down all the appliances now. I'm using the remainder product that was on the microfiber cloth to wipe down the refrigerator. And then I'm spraying a little bit of that multi surface spray in the microwave to get that wiped down and cleaned. have a few more things left to do in the kitchen. I am just cleaning out the sink with my silicone sponge that I shared with you guys in my last video. I'm using some dish soap, getting that cleaned, and then we're gonna be moving on to vacuuming the floors. We're gonna be going into the family room here in a second. This was the very last day that we had our couch. Our couch got delivered the next day, you guys. So in my next cleaning video, you guys will definitely get to see the new couch. We currently have it right now. It is everything I dreamed of and more. It is so perfect. It fits the space amazing. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. I think you are going to love it. It just completes the whole space. So I'm super excited to start decorating, getting our new area rug that I shared with you guys several videos back. I told you we were waiting to put that new area rug out until our couch got here. So we're going to get that rolled out. We're going to be adding some new pillows. So get excited for some exciting home decor updates in an upcoming video. our new couch get delivered, I wanted to make sure that the floors were clean. So I pushed back the couch. There was quite a bit of dust under there. We're vacuuming that up. And that way, when we take these gray couches out, the floor will be nice and vacuumed and ready to go for the new couch. This couch gets so much stuff underneath it. I don't know if you guys saw, there were dog toys, trash, a Coke bottle. So we took care of that. And now the floors are going to be ready for our new sectional. I had to share this little dog bed that I picked up from Home Goods today for Bentley. How cute is this, you guys? It's definitely goes with the decor and I love it. So this little thing has strings at the bottom that you just attach to that. And I love this because it's machine washable so you can just pop it in the wash you know, every couple of months to keep that smelling fresh. But I think it goes with the decor so much. I've been seeing this around so much with the one that like dangles. It has like a little black thing and it hangs from a string and it like moves back and forth. And I know Bentley would not have liked that one. So I finally found one that just like sits to the ground. He is going to love this so much. And I love how it's not like an eyesore. It matches the decor. The only problem is they don't make them for large dogs. So I'm hoping eventually they will make something similar to this for larger dogs. But I thought that was so cute. Come on, get in your new bed. It's for you. Yay, look at my Bentley boy. My Bentley boy looks so cute in his new bed. He looks so cute in your new bed. <laughs> and Blissy, we got to find you a new bed too. We're going to find you one too, okay? I promise. I promise. But you got a new toy, so you're happy, right? All right, so now it is time to clean the bathroom. I'm using a lot of those new products that I got for my Grove order. What I just sprayed in the shower was my Method Foaming bathroom cleaner. I'm also using that surface scrub at the bottom of the shower. I'm using my Method Anti-Back to wipe down the countertops in the toilet. I'm putting on my disposable gloves. We're gonna be wiping down all the surfaces in this bathroom, the countertop, the toilet. We're gonna be scrubbing the shower out. And then I'm also gonna be using my steam mop to do the floors. I only use my steam mop on the tile 
tile floors because we have these beautiful LVP floors throughout our entire home besides the bathrooms. And I was doing tons of research and it said that steam mops over time will start to lift up the glue. And I definitely don't want that happening in our dream home. So we're gonna be using just the steam mop in the bathrooms. And whenever I mop the rest of my house, I will either use a Bona mop or they also said a regular good old mop with water works well too since it is waterproof. Mainly you just really want to be careful with a steam mop because over time, not immediately, but over several years, steam mops are known to lift up flooring with the steam over time. So just be very careful when considering buying one. So If you guys are an oldie but goodie, you know when I usually clean out my showers, I use my electric shower brush. Well, when we moved you guys, I accidentally threw away the cord that goes to that. I literally had it in my hand and I was like trying to figure out what this cord went to. I couldn't figure it out after several days, so I tossed it in the trash and it didn't hit me until several days later that that belonged to my electric shower brush. So I need to order another cord for that. I need to figure out what the company is and contact them and see if I can just order the charger for that. But if not, that's it's okay because it actually takes batteries as well. So it's not the complete end of the world if I can't get a charger for it. So I just picked up this sponge that has a handle on it from Target and I actually really like it. So if you need a new sponge, go to Target and get the one that has the handle on it because it makes it really easy to grab it and it doesn't like fly out your hands when you're scrubbing the shower walls. Have to say something but words fade away I want a picture of all of my mistakes Posted on the wall right in front of me If I could get my feelings straight My reflection wouldn't be so blurry If I could see the whole dim landscape I guess this day that I was cleaning was bathroom day because I decided to take care of both bathrooms and you all know that cleaning a bathroom takes a lot. So I was definitely very tired after filming this video, but now we are in the master bathroom. I'm using the same products I used in the guest bathroom. I'm starting off by spraying down the shower so that can sit a bit and really remove all of that soap scum. I'm getting all of the stuff off the countertops. Whenever I clean the bathroom, I like to have everything away. Obviously when we get ready in the morning, it gets it's pulled back out. I try to remember to put everything away when I'm done getting ready. That doesn't always happen, but trying to get better with that. I definitely want to film a video in this bathroom very soon. I wanna organize underneath the cabinets because that has no organization system to that. I also want to organize the large storage closet that we have in this bathroom that we're using for all of our extra flow products like soaps and body washes and things like that. So I'm gonna start looking for some organization tools for that and hopefully that video will be on my channel very soon. If I could speak up then maybe you would hear or oh, maybe the tension could disappear I'll give it a shot, a whisper in your ear, at least for a moment you would be near. We are using that antibacterial spray to wipe down the toilet. As you can see, I do it several times. I like to make sure the toilet is extra clean. You guys were so right when you guys recommended that um, toilet wand to me. I love it so much because you can clean the toilet out very well, dispose the little pad that goes at the bottom of it, and then I will usually just wipe down the wand so it is cleaned and ready to go for the next use. So if you guys do not have one of those, strongly recommend it. So thank you for recommending that to me.
is all wiped down. We have the inside of the shower clean. We wiped down the toilet. I am sweeping these floors so that we can give the floors a good steam mop. I'm also going to be Windexing the outside of the shower door so that way those are nice and clean. I hope you guys got all of the cleaning motivation from this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd love it if you join the family. And as always, I have all of my recent videos linked down below. So if you want to spend a little bit more time with me, check out some recent videos if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.